I'm Sophia McRae, uh, independent musician based in Wellington. I play around Wellington and I've also played in the South Island, just around New Zealand with my support band and I also promote a lot of shows around Wellington and kind of just quite hands-on in the industry. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> Grew up in Arrowtown. Growing up I was always quite musical and for my fifth birthday I got a guitar and self-taught myself from there. And I always knew I could sing. I was just very shy about that. My teacher in high school made me do Rock Quest. That was kind of a moment where I was like, oh, okay, like, I can actually do this. Yeah, my guitar. Got it on my eighth birthday. And it was from the rock shop. There was just this guitar on the wall and it was just like, ringing it was just going zzzz, and I was like whoa I was like that one <laughs> I want that guitar and I've had it ever since and it's my baby um and I haven't named it but I don't really think I need to <laughs> yeah. there's always people saying like there's certain ways you should sing and you shouldn't and um and when, when you had influences like Amy Winehouse and Jim Wigmore, that were definitely not the way people would say you should sing. And I actually went to see Jim Wigmore live and I had a discussion with her about it because a few times people have called me up about my singing habits and I never got lessons or anything. Um, and I was talking to her about how people were telling me I was singing wrong and stuff and she was just like, no, oh, just fuck him. Like, just like sing the way you want to. And she's like, that's why people listen to me. That's what makes me unique and stuff like that. And that's why um, everything is working for me. She's like, it's because I'm not doing the same thing. I'm not that like, that X factor voice. It's like, it's got character and this and that. And I was just like, yeah. I was also drawn to Amy because she just had this very unique, um, non-traditional like jazz voice. It was just very raw and like authentic. And that's so I think I drew I drew a lot from her. Um, yeah, I thought she was just like this very powerful woman. She wrote um, with like listing out her words and like kind of seeing what rhymes and so she like pieced together everything because it was very similar to kind of similar to how I write. With handstands, I wrote kind of the bones of the song, and then again I took it to the band and they helped with that outro section. I wanted them to kind of shine through a little bit because they they do quite a lot for me and they're very supportive and they're a big part of um, me as well and like my brand. Yeah, Peach Promotions is with Sophie. We both majoring in industries. The chances are that if you are female, you will be discriminated in the industry at some point. And whether it's you at Soundcheck, um, and there's males, or even just like going into the rock shop and it's all just males. I'm sort of quite passionate about like getting more females out there in the industry, being more prominent. I could just like be that person who's constantly scouting and looking for artists and giving them a platform to then take off. Yeah, I think the, the change I'd like to see is already happening. That's really exciting and um, um, yeah, with Peach Promotions, it's just like, yeah, just being that change, just doing it. Yeah, so I think, yeah, just building the community, being supportive, um, 